It's Monday and I wanted to give you guys a rundown of what you can expect to see coming through our workshop this week. We have a normal Sunday's job that we're going to do and then I want to look into sticker making because I'm trying to see what options we can offer other than screen printing. And then I also want to look into doing screen printed heat transfers for hats. Um, so you'll see kind of some screen printing this week, you'll see some office work. Let's get started. Okay, so our first task that I said, we got some new screens, but before we wash those new screens, I just wanted to show you guys how big they are. 23 by 31 inches. This thing is huge. The first thing we have to do, because it's a brand new screen, we wanna go wash it. We wanna give it a nice degrease, get it all fresh. Like I said, since these are new, we want to clean them. So what I use is S-Green stuff and it is a dehazer and a degreaser, but it really just helps clean that screen before we try to put any emulsion on it. We want our emulsion layer to stick the best that it can. All right, now all we do is wash these out and then we're gonna let them dry and then they're ready for us to put some emulsion on them. While the screens are drying from their bath that they just got, I wanted to take you guys inside the computer here and show you kind of how I prep my artwork. Once I get my film transfers printed, here's the first layer. So that's actually gonna be the top layer. I like to mark the color code and what order they're gonna be on the press. So what I use is just one of these little sticky notes and I just put it on the side here, stick it on there. And then this color is gonna be Pantone 1225C. This one is gonna be Pantone two, three, six, nine, coated. And this is actually gonna be our first layer, so we're kind of bouncing around. And then our third layer here, and or technically second in the lineup, I know that's confusing, is our purple, and that's gonna be two, zero, eight, four, coated. And that will be our second. So we'll go the bluish purple, purple, and then orange. So the last thing that I like to do before we throw these screens into the dark room is I like to pre-register them because it's so much easier to see where you want everything to line up. We're gonna find that we wanna just line it right up with these registration marks here. You line it up and then you stick the screen down. And so you can now see that it's gonna fit nice on the screen. So I'm not fumbling around in the dark room trying to figure my way out. We are using base layer long lasting emulsion to coat our screens. We are gonna do two layers on the t-shirt side, one layer of emulsion on the inkwell side. I mark my scoop coater here cause they come with a sharp and round edge. So I hit it with the sharp edge first. And then we're gonna pull straight up. We're gonna do one more. You can see your even layer of emulsion, see how it's nice and glossy. I just blew it out. Fucking drink. It's really depressing. We made it out of the dark room. We had a successful day today. We got a lot done. We prepped pretty much everything we needed to for our normal Sunday's job. And so all we have to do is expose the screens tomorrow, register them on the press, and then we can start printing. Subscribe, comment below. We're trying to build a dialogue around screen printing. So if you do have any questions, comments about anything I did, let us know.